Hello everyone, this is the AI channel and today I finally received my Ice River KSC O Miner. So I'm excited, but also now it may be too late to get those Rhines rewards we used to get before all the new ASIC miners hit the network. Anyway, let's unbox this miner and see step by step what we need to do in order to start mining and see if I can eventually ROI or not. I ran into a couple of issues while setting this up, so I'll show you all that. I want to show you current rewards and run all the numbers for you. Let's get into it. Alright, this is the Ice River KS0 miner. It comes with this adapter, AC adapter. There you are. And this cable to the adapter with these uh, holes, which are like Mickey Mouse kind of thing. And then the outlet here, US outlet. Alright, and this is the actual miner. On this side, you have two fans. You're gonna suck up all the air. And then on the other side here, gonna blow the the hot air out so it's gonna blow it that way so I'm gonna leave it like that probably vertically so it's gonna take it's gonna take the air here it's gonna blow out the hot air here this way so I'm gonna leave it that way then on this side we have the power connector so this this end this yellow end goes there right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Ethernet Ethernet cable right there it's probably a USC a kind of input and then on the other side we have a USB and then here's a reset so that's that's pretty much it nothing else this is a 60 watt unit so pretty pretty sweet in terms of power um, now in terms of first issue I run into this cable that they send that Ice River send which is look at this looks like a Mickey Mouse it does not fit this this connector so it does not fit even though they look exactly the same it won't fit so I had to get another one had to go to micro center today and get this cable which actually fits it's a tiny tiny little bit uh, bigger the third hole there right there tiny little bit you know, bigger and it did fit here so that's the only issue I run into in terms of connecting all this so let's do that right now let's connect this this miner and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do the configuration the pool and everything else all right all right so step number one is to get the ip address of the miner right um, in order to do that i went to geekflare.com slash network dash scanner and then here you have 11 best ip scanner tools for network management uh i don't want to run into any issues with viruses or anything so i went directly into this page and you know here you have kind of the most uh used tools up up uh utils then number two, PRTG, Network Monitor. What else? IP Address Manager, Angry IP Scanner, Free IP Scanner, IP Scanner by Spice World. So there are many. You may already have one. I have a couple of these. So go ahead and, and use or download from this page the one that you trust and you, and you know, right? Um, so let's do that right now. All right, so I wanna head and plug the, the power there and the ethernet cable there. As you can see, it's already blinking green, so that means it's getting signal and data is flowing in and out. So I'm good now. So let's go back to the computer and finish setting up the IP address. All right, so what I did is I went to my IP scanner and before scanning everything, I went to tools, preferences, display, and then I say a live hosts responding to pings only. So in that way, you don't get hundreds of hundreds or do dozens of dozens of IP addresses that are not being used only the ones that are active and alive. So I did that, okay. And then the other thing I did is I went here to fetchers and I included the Mac vendor. And that way I can recognize what the miner is, the IP address of the miner. So I added that Mac vendor field as, as uh, in the output, right? So I click that and then once it starts scanning, uh, let's, let's give it a second here, start scanning as you can see. All right, scanning complete. All right, and the way I recognize the miner is uh, by by the Mac vendor here. It says Synelic. I don't know what how you pronounce that. Synelic Telecom Multimedia. So uh, that's the way I recognize. So what it is, right click, copy IP. So you're gonna need the IP address, copy IP. All right, and when the IP copy, just open a new browser session and just paste the, the IP there, control D. 
there's the IP, and then you're gonna get the login information. Now for uh, name is admin, and for password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the default password. Now go ahead and change that once you once you log in. So let's let's do that right now. All right, I'm gonna save. All right, my mind is already running. Uh, what you wanna do first is uh, user settings here and current password. Retype one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then set up a new password and confirm password, and then click save. All right, after you change your password, we need to select a mining pool. So for that, we're gonna go to mining pool stats that stream, uh, and then you're gonna type, type here Caspa. It's gonna show up there. All right, these are all the Caspa mining pools. Uh, and number one, it comes with caspa.pool.org with 75, 0.75% uh, pool fee. Uh, and then hampool.com. This is by hash rate, right? It's, it's already by hash rate. So pick up the one that makes sense for your location. Uh, I'm gonna go with caspa-pool.org. If you click there, just gonna show you as an example, right? Um, then you're gonna say start mining. And depending on your location, you're gonna copy the server you belong to. So I'm in the US, so I'm gonna copy that. And then I know that the pool connection, the TCP is 4444. All right, so let's go back to the miner. All right, here's the management section for the miner. I'm gonna click mining settings. And for pool one, first delete anything that's related that comes by default, because that's the Ice River uh, default pools, right? So go ahead and, and delete and clean up everything. And then what you want is you wanna paste what we just copied from the, from the uh, pool. So I'll show you here and you're gonna copy this. Again, you're gonna copy all that and you're gonna paste it after the here. Colon slash slash, you're gonna paste that there. So you're gonna leave stratum plus TCP colon slash slash and then you're gonna replace your server depending on your location, then colon and then the the actual uh, num port number, right? In my case is 4444, very easy. Now, now for the uh, wallet and the worker, you need to get your wallet receiving address. So. Go ahead and get that from your uh, wallet. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch my previous video on, on how to mine Caspa and then you set up your wallet and you're gonna paste your wallet there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set that and a name, name that uh, miner. So in my case it's uh, colon there, uh, KS0-1, my first uh, miner for KS0. So that's it, uh, password optional. Uh, so go ahead and click save there and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much for how to configure this miner. Uh, this miner is, uh, is capable of producing 100 gigahash per second. So you're gonna see that the uh, average is gonna tend to be 100 gigahash right here there. Uh, it's been running only for 26 minutes in my case. Um, so this is gonna be probably, it's gonna you know, stabilize here around 100 uh, gigahash per second. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to do anything else. Here, now what we need to know is how much am I making, right? So let's let's go ahead and do that calculation. Let's go to uh, hash rate.no. Uh, I don't want GPUs here. Let's go to the actual calculation here, calculator, and let's find CAS. Here it is, CASPA. This is 100, and this is a mega hash, so one, two, three. Three more zeros. And then in terms of wattage, this is a 65. Uh, what, uh, there it is, enter. Let's see, so as of today price, uh, the profits of this, we're making 111.8, so almost 112 casts per day, which is equivalent at today's price, $4.3, uh, profit 4.15. All right, so revenue 4.3 and profit 4. Point. So it's, it's, it's such a low voltage, I mean wattage, that you know it's pretty much all profit, but still low compared to what we use. So when I when I ordered this in July 15, it used to be 25 dollars per day. Now it's 4.15 dollars per day, and that's let's let's do some numbers right now. So depending on what's the the price that you got this miner, let's do the numbers. All right, 4.15 times 30. So we're making 124.5 as today's price. Um, 
So let's say Ice River is sending, now it's lower price, 639. So 639, 639 divided 120, let's say 124. It's 5.15 months, so in, in order to ROI. Now, you gotta take into account uh, shipping costs, right? This is just the, the Ice River, and then uh, Ice River also charged for the AC adapter, 36.9, so it's even higher, uh, the ROI, right? Let's check on BT miners, the ones I used in the past. BT miners is 7.99 for the new in stock. Let's see, new in stock, 9.99, the one that is in stock. Late August is 8.99 and the September is 7.99. Um, and they also have uh, come with a shipping uh, cost. Now, in my case, be aware that there was a custom uh, fee of $230 on, on customs, right? US customs. So depending where you are in your country, you may get also an extra fee on, 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 on customs. So I gotta take all that into account. In my case, when I got this money back in July, it was a thousand. So a thousand plus the two thirty uh, custom uh, oh, one two three zero. The, uh, let's do that. Divide by one twenty four. My case, I need nine point nine, almost ten months to ROI this this at current prices and a current hash rate of the network. Uh, let's take a look at the price. Uh, you can check on my previous video, but. Uh, I was telling you in my previous video, we were in, in, in this retracement mode, you know, kind of correcting the all-time high at, at 5.19, uh, zero point, you know, five, so five cents, uh, almost 5.2. And then it corrected in an A, B, C, and we'll see now this, this may be a A, B, and then we'll need to see what this ends up being. And then I think we may go back again uh, so if the price of Kappa, I believe it's gonna keep going up, right? This is this is an amazing network, amazing uh, chain. So uh, we, and we just started. So after this five way, you know, this is is typical to see an ABC correction, and then we'll go into the next wave, and we'll see what will be the the next target. I also have another view on on, on the price estimation and target price uh, after this fifth wave, right? All right, and in my case, I don't think I'm gonna um, order again another KS3, at least for a while. I prefer uh, on Ice River directly. It took so long to get, you know, about a month. Um, I probably gonna prefer to pay a little bit more and get it like like BT miners or some other trusted um, uh, as a mine, mining company that you trust. Uh, although here's a 7.99 with an ROI of 5.6 months. You gotta take into account, you gotta add the shipping uh, cost to this, right? So it's a little bit higher at 5.6. And the hash rate is gonna keep increasing. Look at these miners, KS1, KS2, KS3L, KS3, and then Bitman and Meyer, KS3. So they all produce hash rates, huge hash rates. Uh, so the profitability is gonna keep decreasing. It's gonna get, it's gonna take longer to get the return on investment on this little guy with 65 watts, which I love. 65 watts, you know, this is the lowest you can get with a big return. Um, so we'll see. Um, there you are. If you have any questions or if you already have a KS0, uh, let me know what's your feedback or what's, if you have any comments. I appreciate it. Th thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.